watching that team mm -hmm. not even show up. And we saw we saw the Cavs go through a similar time like this right before the trade deadline last year. But then they made a total reinvention trade, a dozen players involved, multiple teams, and they basically got a new squad for the final 30 games of the year. But the Lakers right now find themselves in 10th place, two and a half back with 28 games to go. It's go time now. Now they got helped by the fact the Clippers made their trade, so the Clippers, one of the teams above them, should fall back some. Yeah, but good it, point. But the I do not think you can look at this year as simply a ah throw it away. You know what I mean? Don't worry. It's about next year, particularly because you don't have a single free agent this upcoming summer who has said to anyone, "Oh, the Lakers are where I'm going." We've had Kawhi say, I want to go to Los Angeles, but there's two teams there. Right. Anthony Davis made it clear he wants to go to the Lakers. He's not a free agent. And so I understand why Magic wanted to walk away from the table because he felt he was negotiating against himself and wanted to force the Pelicans to make a counter offer, a real counter offer. But unless you are just going to say, ah, year one of LeBron, when he showed some signs of age with that injury, we're just going to throw it away, then enormous pressure to get Anthony Davis now, not let Boston get into it, and give yourself a shot this season. That's part of being Magic Johnson, though. That's dealing with the pressure. Magic's always had a great deal of pressure on him. When he took the Lakers job, which he wanted, it, he wanted that job, it was just a, a matter of several things happening. Number one, could he land LeBron James? Now, to me, LeBron still would have come to the Lakers, even if Magic was not running their basketball operations. He still would have gone to the Lakers. So Magic, yes, was outside LeBron's house waiting for a free agency to open, to pounce. And so we have that. But what I'm worried about is in a panic, does he make a bad deal? Because what we had to realize through this all, getting from Kobe to LeBron, they had to be patient. Now, do they lose their patience because of right now, Anthony Davis has made it public. I want to be out of New Orleans. I'd like to be with the Lakers. That'd be one of the teams I would sign a long-term deal with. So I believe the pressure has really increased. And you want to get Anthony Davis before the trade deadline because you don't want the other teams to be involved after that. And you want to... I'll take Anthony Davis, but you can't take him, give up all those picks and that salary because then you won't be able to get another superstar. So you have to get Anthony Davis and or I would much rather wait till the summer than take that bad contract and take me out of the running of getting someone else like Kyrie. Here's the only, I, I agree that's the ideal. The only problem is, it, what if the Knicks do win the draft lottery? I've been saying this is only 14% chance, but that's still a one in just one in seven chance. Like, and then then all of a sudden the best thing available, is Zion Williamson and that trade would be made. What if this, what if I'm, what if a lot of people are surprised and Kyrie does stay in Boston? And therefore then Anthony Davis, Danny Ainge will trade Jason Tatum. Here's the, the, the reason to make the trade right now, even if you got to swallow hard and take whatever deal Dell Dimps is offering, is because it is hard to think of a scenario where you get Anthony Davis for what would be the next five and a half years, the year and a half on his contract, the four-year extension he's going to sign, and you look back and you say, we made a terrible deal. You might say we paid too much, right. but it's hard to get a player of that caliber for that long of a period of time. What I think Magic was doing yesterday, Jenna, was, and anyone that's ever tried to buy a house, I think, can relate to this. It, say the house is on the market for $250,000, and you offer two twenty. You don't really expect them to say yes to the two twenty. You just want them to counter. Because the moment they counter, you're like, okay, I'm going to be able to get this house. Like, they're not hard on two. Like, and right. so all Magic, I think, wanted was, a counter. Will they, if they counter, it means they're going to, they are willing to trade him. Right. I want evidence you're actually willing to trade him. A counter means you're actually negotiating right. compared right. to discussing something. And what I don't think Magic wanted was for them, for them to have no interest in ever trading him. And then Magic keeps upping his offer. And then that be the precedent that's used against him this summer. Show mm -hmm. me he's actually on the table before I lay out everything I'll give you. Because if he's not on the table and then you're going to come back to me this summer saying, well, you already offered me this, right. you're in a very weak position. The, the thing that I don't understand is for Magic Johnson, what's plan B? So if this doesn't work out, it doesn't seem it's like wait. The, it's just it's, it's just it, wait it's and wait see for what the happens. summer. I mean, they, they would probably acquire a third level player right before the deadline. So nothing but this that could would go, put a dent into something like no, this. No, no. All right, let's go back to football. The Super Bowl may be over, but the euphoria in New England is alive and well. The Patriots had their Super Bowl parade yesterday, their sixth 
in the past two decades, a number shockingly similar to the amount of Super Bowls that they have won. Uh, on Sunday, Julian Edelman will be back after winning Super Bowl 53. CC, so any reason to bet against the Patriots next season? Man, I tell people, man, if you know better, you do better. And, and I know better. I, I know better. I've been watching this happen for a long, long time. And when you look at the AFC, outside of Kansas City, I mean, who do you think as an organization is ready to dominate in the AFC? Potentially Indianapolis, what they have going there with Frank Wright, um, getting Andrew Luck back, having that salary cap space, the ability to be able to play physical, um, keeping Andrew Luck upright. Like, besides that, New England still, man, they're they still going to be part of this. As long as Tom Brady's there, they're going to be able to win 10 games. If you can win 10 games, you're going to be in the playoffs, and you got a shot. And if you think that overall experience that they have with their core group of guys is not going to be effective, then you didn't watch this season. Because over the last month of the season, which is the last 30 days, they've played the best football in the NFL. They should be Super Bowl champs based on what they did, going to Kansas City, winning that game in overtime, taking that drive all the way down the field, and what they did to the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl. So, no, I'm not surprised at all. I know they're one of the favorites because that's what New England, there's nothing, they got eight new coaches, right, mm -hmm. in the league. I mean, so now we got 24. Well, I can eliminate them one by one if you guys wanted to right. come up with Chris List, like who should really be on this like list. That. But we got eight new coaches. There's only 32 teams. All right. So when you break it down, who's going to who's going to knock them off? Well, and listen, and I so I have been someone that has been publicly said, I think this is the year for New England. But if this wasn't the year for New England then why on earth would next year be the year? If the year when they're 11 and five, when Brady's play drops off, when they can't win on the road, if this year they win the Super Bowl by their biggest margin of victory in any Super Bowl, like Belichick's not gonna get dumber. T Josh McDaniel's still there. That offensive line, which by the way, has their first round pick Isaiah Wynn from last year, he will get to play for the first time. They have four top 75 draft picks. Like all those things are advantages they have moving into next season. The other advantage they have is their division in this way. I, I want to make this clear because there's a misnomer. The Pats just beat up on the AFC South and that's it. They win the exact same percentage of games in the division as out of the division. It's 74.7% yep. versus 75.1%. Bill Barnwell published this over the Brady era. So that's not the division advantage. The division advantage is they can have an 11-win season and not worry, oh, man, that's going to make us a wild card team because one of these teams going to win 13. Like, they can get off to a slow start, find their way, and still be guaranteed at least one home game from winning the division, if not a bye. So th that's the infrastructure advantage they have there to go along with the enormous, you know, intelligence advantage, if you will, or schematic advantage they have from the coaching staff and Brady. If there's one position you'd like to see this team shore up for next season, what would it be? They got to get another wide receiver. Yeah. Get another wide receiver, get a rush, even though they generate rush through scheme on the defensive side, but they need an explosive offensive player, a deep threat, and they'd like an explosive playmaker on the defensive side that they haven't been able to get in a number of years. So those would be my two priorities if I was looking at New England. And C, they might also need a tight end. Like, that's the – Dwayne Allen, I would imagine, is not going to be back next year's $7 million cap hit. And Rob Gronkowski, we think, could be retiring. Like, that – now, you're not going to get Rob Gronkowski, but you, you go, need another pass catcher, whether it's I, – I agree, an outside receiver. We know they prioritize that. Yeah. They just couldn't get it. Like, they brought in 33 receivers over the course of the year. Mm -hmm. They took a flyer on Josh Gordon that was starting to work out before it ended the way it seemed was almost inevitable. Like, they – they 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 feel, I think, we can see from their – decisions they need somebody there but there's I'm I'm out of the the doubting the Patriots business because of what they show for how this long? season. I, well as long no, as Belichick's how there, long it take for <laughs> no, him to get there because I, I think I underestimated the enormous advantage they were gonna have on everyone in the playoffs absent of the 53 players like just just from the the, the, the schematics. experience sure. and schematics. And, and go ahead. I was telling people uh, a lot in Atlanta this weekend, and, and they were like, well, Chris, do you like New England? I said, I like football played the right way. 
in New England, if you don't like them, it's because either you don't like because they've won so much and there's a reason to hate on them. But if you like football and you like being able to make you think about what they're going to do, you've got to like the way New England attacks things. Their multiples meaning this week will be one team and the next week will be a different team. And those requirements it takes to be that. I appreciate that, sure. and I know the stress that the players are under and to perform like that year after year, I got much respect and for And to C's point about who's coming, like the, people thought the Jags were on the uptick. They fell apart this season. The yeah, Steelers, after that spicy interview. For, there, okay, sure. <laughs> the Steelers, we, I don't think, will be as good next year as they were this year, and this year they missed the playoffs. They're, you mentioned the Colts with all their cap space. The Texans also have a bunch of cap space, finally have their own picks. But those teams, there's a lot of uh, variables there. The Chiefs, I believe, will be there. I think you believe will be there. And the Patriots, like... The